in the in the conference? Is that a bit of a motivation chip on your shoulder type thing, or how do you guys look at that? Um, I mean, I don't know if we really look at that a lot right now. Mm -hmm. um, we're just more focused on us and getting better every day, and then we'll see where we're at the end of the year. How do you think you guys have been getting better every day? You've been about a week in practice now. I know we just talked a little bit last week, but what's what's been going on in practice? What's kind of been the big thing you've noticed about practice with, with Coach Edwards and everything? I think that the intensity of it uh, has definitely increased a lot. I think uh, he's more demanding of every single player on the team, and I think that's definitely beneficial to us. No matter if you're the first guy on the team or the last, he expects the same out of you no matter what. When you guys are here, do you get a chance much to mingle with other guys? And kind of, are there any certain players that you try to, you know, pick their brain or anything like that? Or what's it like to, you know, get to hang out with some of the better players in the conference like this? Um, I mean, we haven't, we haven't had much of a chance yet, but mm -hmm. I mean, it is a cool thing. I'm sure throughout the day, um, you know, we'll get a chance to talk to most of the guys from the other team. So, I mean, it's always not, it's always good talking about, you know, other guys that you're going to play against this year and just see what they think about stuff. Mm -hmm. Gonna ask Al. I know we talked to Jason about this. About you know, Josh was a, see a, a really good leader last year too, and he certainly was a vocal type guy, not afraid to. You know, I know Jason even said he's not maybe as vocal as Josh. But he's trying to become more in certain cases, I guess. Uh, what would be your observations of that? Is, is is Jason a little more vocal, at least so far, and in practice, or, or just in, in other things as far as being a leader? What what have you noticed about that so far? I think we're, we're both definitely trying that. Uh, us being the oldest guys of the group now, been here the longest. I think we're both trying to be more vocal. And like he said, I think it's kind of hard for both of us just because we were so used to uh, a different style. Like we both came out of our redshirt years. You had Larry and DC and all of them. So you didn't have to worry about that. And you had Josh last year, but now we got to definitely get out of our comfort zone and definitely try to try to lead these guys and, to the best of our abilities. Um, Jason, talk to me about it. What, what's the most difficult part for you? Is it just, you know, like I said, you're, you're not always maybe the most vocal guy. So what's, is it just simply just doing it or when to do it what, for you? What's the most difficult part of that? Uh, the most difficult part I think is just getting out of yourself and actually doing it because you, I think sometimes in your head you're thinking, well, I'm messing up too. How am I going to get on another guy? So, you, but you got to get out of that and you got to think, okay, what is best for this team and what needs to be said at that moment? And hopefully the guy will take it the right way. Is that something you guys kind of take on yourselves, or is it something the coaches have to nudge you along a little bit with, too? I mean, it's a little bit of both. And it's just one of those things you got to know. Um, like, each guy individually. I mean, some guys, it's you know, you got to get on them a little bit more, and some guys, you kind of got to try and, you know, bring them up and you know, keep their confidence up. I mean, you just got to, you know, just knowing the rest of the guys is really important. I'm asking a lot of players, at least just five questions, guys. I'll ask you guys both, you know. Where's the toughest place to play in the Mountain West, aside from you know your own home arena? Where's your guys' opinion? Where's the toughest place? For me, it's it's been probably San Diego State has been the toughest so far, just because uh, since I've been here, I don't think we've got a win in that place, and it's you know the show, all the lights and all that. So it's definitely been one of the, the tougher arenas to play in. Yeah, I mean I would say that I'd say New Mexico too, playing in the pit, mm -hmm. um, just their fans. Are pretty Crazy and he's right, you know, right, right close to the court. Yeah. What do you like to do when you're not playing basketball? What do you like to do to pass the time? What are some of your favorite hobbies, I guess? <laughs> what we have time for? Uh, I guess for me, just just hanging out with friends, go out and just do do things that you know made me forget. You know, I'm athlete and just live kind of a re the regular kind of life. You know, go out to the movies and just hang out and enjoy that part of it. Uh, I, mean, I mean, for me, in the summertime, I like to golf, I like to go fly fishing, you know, kind of do the outdoor stuff in Wyoming. Really, yeah. Notice he's, he's never invited me. I've never <laughs> been invited yet. I'm waiting. I'm waiting on my, on my time to shine. <laughs> it might be awful, but I mean, I'm going to try. <laughs> you know when, I, I know it's early, but you know when Coach Edwards is mad at you when he... Uh, he... Just tells you to get on the line for no reason. Like we had one of those recently in practice. We were doing a drill, and some I think uh, Jeremy was telling us, "Hey, it's uneven." And we we're like, "Wait, it's even." And the coach looked at it, and he was like, "Okay, since so you guys don't want to listen to him, get on the line." And then we we're like, "What is he talking about? The lines were even." He was like, "Well, I'm running you guys anyway today." <laughs> like, Man. Yeah, you can just see the look on his face sometimes. He might not say anything, and you know that if you don't pick it up, then you're about to get on the line, or someone's about to get you know just. Yelled at. You can just see it in his face. Uh -huh. so you know, you better pick it up.
do you guys have kind of you know any hard goals for the team this year in terms of I don't know where you'd like to finish or anything like that? I know obviously you want to improve and everything like that, but are there any sort of set goals that you guys have out there? Uh, I don't think we have really any set goals at the moment. I think we're just trying to go out there and just play to the best of our abilities every night. And whatever happens, happens. We just want to go out there knowing that we played the best and, and did the best we could at the end of the night. Are you guys?